Mm, if only your shoe looks good, Chester. It is, baby. Fresh, meaty, succulent. But you've got a bone of your own right there. Why don't you chew on that? Oh, you mean the synthetic rubber thing here? Tastes like a tire. But don't worry about me, Chester. I'm sure someone will eventually feed me before I starve to death of the calcium deficiency. Nice try, Poppy. But there are three things male dogs never share. Chew toys, feelings, and dessert. Which is exactly what this bone tastes like. I got myself all gussied up today so we could go somewhere special like you promised. <laughs> so where are we going? What's the big surprise? What are you talking about? I don't remember promising we'd go anywhere today. I blocked out this time for some serious bone crunching. Uh, it's so like you to forget all your promises. But why should you care about my feelings when you've got a bone to pick? That's right. I'm glad you understand, baby, because this bone is just demanding my attention right now. I should have listened to my mother. She warned me about marrying a pug. They're selfish, she said. Their breathing is like a constant public service announcement for asthma, she said. They all have a Ryan Seacrest complex, she said. Now, baby, you know I can't hear you over my chewing. But as soon as I'm done with this bone, we'll lie down for a nice long nap together. How does that sound? A little self-serving. You actually expect me to lie here for the next three to four hours while you devour that bone in front of me. You got other plans? Yes, I do. <coughs> How do you like that, huh, Chester? Do you want me to cause a scene? Would that make you happy? <coughs> What if I howl at you for the next three to four hours? I say go for it. Although you'll probably get laryngitis, because I once went to a bulldog concert and barked all the way through it. Couldn't speak for days. Not funny, Chester. You think I won't do it? Because I will. Oh, yes, I will. I have no doubt you can accomplish anything you put your mind to, baby. You're right, Chester. Perhaps I've been going about this all wrong. Maybe I should just go inside there and tell your pug friends all about your secret cuddling sessions with your Tinkerbell doll. Okay, Poppy, we can share the bone. Just don't drag Tink into this. She's been through enough already. We could have avoided all this, Chester, if you'd remembered one basic rule. What? Always share with your wife. <laughs>